Doctor, Hykros is very sincere about this cooperation. We... Archon Elric, I'm only here to see if you have anything to say to me about what you did in the past. But it looks like you haven't learned your lesson, even after all these years. What a shame. I hope that when we meet next time, you can come down from your high horse. If there is a next time... You and Archon Elric. Did that startle you? I'm sorry. What did Hykros do in the past? Elric never told you. I guess I'm not the only one who needs an answer. Go ask him yourself. I just want to leave here. The sooner, the better. Archon Elric. The doctor is right. Hykros made a lot of bad decisions. We saw how the Cataclysm ripped through the world, and we tried to fight back. But it was all in vain. The ground underneath our feet is just a fleeting moment of what this world once was. Everything changed, however. We discovered Omnium, and we took it. We discovered Omnium, and we took it. We childishly thought we could control it. We childishly thought we could control it. We were naive enough to think that we'd have a better future. That was a terrible mistake. About 50 years ago, unknown aberrations started to spread on a very large scale. When we discovered that radiation from Omnium was the culprit, it was too late. To save it, we took a risk and did something even more forbidden. We tried to affect the space-time structure with Omnium so that it could wipe the timeline and go back in time. We failed. We are abandoned by time. Sorry, it's not that I want to keep it from you, just I don't want to discuss it with outsiders. Omnium has many traits far beyond our comprehension, the most profound being the impact on stabilization of time and space. To put it in plain words, Omnium can help us distort time, even change it. You mean time retracement? That's just the most obvious aspect, involving dialing the present point on a timeline back to the past. If you could find the nexus on the current timeline, you can change events to create a new timeline. Dr. Claire mentioned this to me before. Ah, <sighs> she and her husband, Loon, were both senior researchers in High Cross once. They're expert in the field. And I was their project manager. We worked together for a long time. Back then, we all looked forward to the endless possibilities the discovery could bring. Everyone labored tirelessly to produce results. But we never once realized how our study could significantly affect the world. Disagreement started after the successful travel back in time. Archon Carl of the Ninth District pitched an extremely radical experiment. Carl wanted a volunteer from the team to join the experiment. But Dr. Henry rejected the proposal after evaluating the potential safety issues and risks. The project stagnated, and more happened after that. Anyway, Carl eventually convinced Dr. Henry. Also, they found Claire's husband, Lewin, without acknowledging her, 
and convinced him to volunteer himself for the experiment. And the experiment failed? That's right. The incident 50 years ago threw Loon into the turbulent river of time. As for Claire, she chose to leave. Now I understand the doctor's attitude towards you. You found out enough today. I hope...
Don't you know how it works around here? Money, now! Please forgive me. I don't have that much money. Leave the money behind, or leave your life behind. Are you all right? I'm okay. Thanks to you. I thought I could avoid them by being cautious. Who are the people you are referring to? The hyenas, of course. Oh, you must be new to the mines. Hardly anyone comes down here these days. I'm sent to do an assignment. What happened here? The hyenas are becoming more violent each day, on top of the outbreak in the mines. Life's getting difficult around here. What's the deal with the outbreak? <sighs> Who knows? Many miners fell ill and are unwilling to work now. Everyone's hoping the problem gets solved. You're here on assignment, right? Why don't I take you to the mine? We're in hyena territory and this is not the place to be. Where are you from? I'm here to see Mr. Kim on Hykros' order. You're a Hykros envoy? You don't look it. Not everyone can see Mr. Kim whenever they want. I see. I won't ask anything that I shouldn't. <laughs> My lord, this is the person that meddled with our business. Yes, sir! The hyenas. Follow me. <sighs> we should be safe here. I'm sorry to drag you into this. They occupied this place about two weeks ago. We have to pay them if we want to go through here. Group of crooks they are. I wonder when Mr. Kim will take care of the trouble. Oh, that's the entrance to the mines. There you are, Gus. I was about to send people to look for you. Don't remind me. I ran into the hyenas and would have died if not for this hero here. <sighs> I did warn you the world outside is not safe. Thank you for saving Gus. He's lucky to be alive. Cone, this is a special agent of Hykros, here on assignment. Special agent of Hykros? The bigwigs finally care about us? As a special agent, you must have brought the cure, right? May I see it? Searching database using keyword cure. Sorry, we didn't bring any related item. Stop giving them a hard time, Cone. Is Giggs in the base? The agent would like to see Mr. Kim. Giggs has been here for a while, but they're having quite a quarrel. You should check it out. Cone is a good man, and that wasn't directed to you. Given our current situation, everyone's in a bad mood. I'll take you to see Giggs, our leader. We need to go through him if we want to see Mr. Kim. No one likes him, but he's Mr. Kim's nephew. I mean, after Stark, the last leader retired. We won't work until the miner's disease is taken care of. We're people too! We have rights! Stop this nonsense! My uncle is working on it! Now get back to work! Don't my uncle me. You're all talk. Why don't you go back with your tail between your legs and tell Kim that there's no deal if he can't cure us? Yes, go back! Ha! <laughs> strike! Strike! Strike!
You know, if shouting could get things done, I would be protesting with them long ago. See the guy besieged by people? That's Giggs. He can take you to Mr. Kim. However, it looks like he ain't going anywhere for a while. I'm sorry, but I did all I could. These patients are in pretty bad shape. I've got to find someone to take care of them. Okay, thanks. Excuse me, but what are you disputing? You must not be from here. You should leave. There's an outbreak of disease. <sighs> Everyone is spooked, and we saw those people fall ill. Yet Mr. Kim still pushes us to work. Did Mr. Jin... Kim... get doctors for you? What we need are meds. And despite saying they'd solve the problem, they brush us off every time. They claimed a special med is coming our way today, so we've waited since morning. But guess what? Giggs told us that hyenas robbed the meds. How could he fool us? We're not gonna stand for this. Giggs has been jerking us around long enough. He better have an answer for us all. The miners are still agitated. Mia suggests asking Giggs for his side of the story. said you could get up here? Go back down! Hi, Kroos. What can I do for you? I... See that passage? We use that for delivery. The hyenas set up a checkpoint. That's probably where they stashed the medicine they stole. medicines back. Is this it? Yes, it is! You're a godsend! I can't stand another minute with these fools. Thank you. What did you just give them, Special Agent? Giggs said it's a special drug developed by Mr. Kim to treat the sickness. Thank you. I hope they'll get well soon. The miners are still refusing to leave. Can you convince them? Sick ones have already taken the meds. Can we stop this now? 
That's right. I already sent someone to distribute the meds. Why aren't you going back to work? It's not enough. What about those of us that didn't get it? Don't worry. We'll get more. Keep doing this and I'll get my uncle to cut your pay. <sighs> Never mind. I guess I'll trust you one last time. <sighs> Finally, the peons are gone. Now, will you take me to Mr. Kim? But before we go, I've got to ask you some. What is it? Thank you for your help. They've been at this for a bunch of ungrateful miners. Did they forget who gave them their jobs? Yeah! If it weren't for my uncle, this place would still be a dump. Yes, it's hard work out here, but we pay them handsomely, and there's plenty of people that want to work. They're lucky to be working here. Lucky! You know what I'm saying? I mean, just look at them. They'll keep complaining, but they stop the moment you threaten them with firings. My uncle is too nice. If it were me, I would have kicked out the agitators long ago, so that the others can see the consequences for themselves. This is it. Wait here while I report to him. And we took back the hijacked medicine, too. Good work, Giggs. Send the envoy in. Esteemed agent, thank you for everything you did for us. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. It is a severe outbreak. I'm doing everything I can to alleviate the situation, from giving them time off to finding a proper treatment plan. But the production of ore must not slow down. I'm not a philanthropist. I cannot sustain a big business and so many employees solely on compassion. Have you put yourself in the miner's shoes? I've seen all kinds of people and backgrounds. I even know their situation better than they do. The best way to get sympathy is to make yourself look as pitiful as you can. I'm sure you can understand that as well as I do. You're rather merciless. Oh, I don't think that's a fair assessment, Special Agent. I've never coerced anybody. They can work for money or they can leave. The choice is always theirs. I don't think Hykros sent you to discuss this issue, though, so... How can I help you? Hykros is looking to shut off the tower with Astrum. <laughs> I'll be very glad to help, but unfortunately... Someone stole my astrum some time ago. Mr. Kim, the hyenas are attacking us and we need help.
It's safe here now. Any other- Thank you for the help, Special Agent. But we have to restore order here as soon as possible. Well done, Special Agent. Irvin, Keeper of the Upper Minds, has sent a distress signal that we lost contact with the station and not a word from the dispatch team. Quickly, take this crate back and you'll be rewarded. Again! One day you'll pay for all this! <clears throat> Thank you for your help, stranger. You are... Mr. Kim sent me. Are you Mr. Irvin? The ore have been recollected. Thank you! But the control for the mining carts has been damaged. I have to see whether it still functions normally. I have time to rest. I <coughs> have to repair the tracks to make sure things get around. <coughs> Looks like you're sick too. Are you sure you're going to be okay? It's not serious. I'll be all right. You pass it on and, and they'll
The issue at the transfer station has been resolved. Mr. Irvin is wrapping things up. Thank you for your help, Agent. Mr. Kim, on my way back, I heard that the medicine you distributed is not having much of an effect. <laughs> it needs some time to take effect. Nevertheless, it's better than nothing. Won't you agree? Why don't you tell everyone the truth? I gave them the medicine they wanted so they can go back to work with hope. We take what we need. That's the best outcome anyone could ever hope for. Of course, our labs are conducting targeted experiments. However, this is the first occurrence of such illness. We have to start from scratch. You must understand, Agent. It takes a lot of money, an astronomical amount of money, to develop a new drug. I can only hope you know what you're doing. I truly admire your sense of justice, Agent. That said, I can handle a mess better than you can. Hi, Chris sent you, right? Oh, sorry. Not exactly the talkative type. I made special adjustments to this. It's going to feel great when you use it. The energy should be in this area. Don't let her see you and come back as soon as possible.
I think we have enough energy so you can come back now. Don't get tangled up with those guys. Back so soon? Looks like things went well on your end. The destroyer is ready too. We just need to charge it and it'll be good to go. But before you leave, I want to make a deal with you. I heard from Kim that you came for the Astrum. It just so happens that I've always wanted to see real Astrum up close. So, after you get your hands on it, can you let me take a look at it first? You got a deal. Haha, <laughs> great! I'll recharge the mecha now. You can help me to start up the energy device. Start the powering device, will you? I'm getting ready to power the destroyer. Get on when you're ready and I'll send you to the Hyena Queen. I hope you survive.
Fighting. But the disorder is overheating and I need to get back. You can take care of the peons on your own, right? Turn off the energy shield and come back with Astrum. The Lone Hero triumphs. I can settle my commission with Mr. Kim. Uh, as per our agreement, I'll hang on to the Astrum for safekeeping. Mr. Franz, have you brought us any new information? Nothing good. You must have heard about the recent illness spreading through the mines. Have you found out anything relating to this matter? Mr. Kim said it was some kind of new, unknown disease. His people are developing treatment, but he also admitted the medicines he brought won't work much. I think he might be hiding something from me, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I'll check for other clues. You keep an eye on gigs. And let me know if any news broke. I sent the medicine from Mr. Kim back to Hycros for testing, and found something... unexpected. I heard you work for Hycros. Yes. Can I help you? I know this might seem rude, but can you help the locals here? The disease is making all of our lives more miserable. Yeah, that's right. You... New here, right? Let me tell you, 
The mines haven't been kosher. I got some talisman here to keep you safe. I'll even sell it to you. Ch this is a sp Mr. Kim, what brings you here? Chris ran away. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We can talk this out. Tell me what's the deal with your drug. Okay, okay. I did sell it to Banjus, but I'm just the middleman. Yeah! Giggs pushed the drug to Banjus, and Mr. Kim seems to be totally unaware. So, Giggs and Mr. Kim have different ideas. I'm going up to get some things done. Watch this place and don't let anyone inside. Keep an eye out, and report immediately if you see anyone suspicious. Yes, sir. Chris just needs to do it a few more times before I can... Log, evidence of gigs taking part in drug trafficking. You 
again? Guards! Guards! Capture these two! What do you want? Recording. Saving images of jigs, gigs, and stolen goods for evidence. What are you talking about? This should be the delivery location that Giggs said. This is it! Attack! It's a trap! <laughs> Yeah. 
I am sorry, but Giggs escaped. What happened, Mia? The heirs of Ida sneaked in here, and I was unable to stop them. <laughs> I guess we're all having rotten luck. I found out about gigs, but nothing more useful than that. Also, I got the news that the heirs of Ida seem restless on Astra. They're planning something big. You're probably going solo in the mines. I'm bringing Mia with me to Astra for investigation. You can't fight, but you know the layout better than me, as well as the situation at the shelter. Compared to Astra, I'm actually more concerned about the situation here. I'm sure Kim knows that Giggs is run by now. That's his nephew we're going to catch, and we need him on board with us. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. Yet I'm still not sure where Mr. Kim stands. Demanding Giggs out of him will only exacerbate our position. So sorry, Special Agent. It was my negligence regarding Giggs. I apologize for the trouble he brought you. Most of the drugs given out to the miners have been recalled. I've also assigned personnel to take care for those who took it. I'm so sorry you had to witness this. I need to sort out the production process, Mr. Kim, and find out why the heirs of Ida got involved. The batch was manufactured in District 4, a vital research base of ours. I handed all reins to Giggs, making him responsible for the entire operation there. Who knew my nephew would do such a thing? District 4 has now severed all ties with us, so it must have fallen into the heirs of Ida's hands. If you're going to investigate the place, be extra careful. Give me the location.
path is blocked. Something important must be up there. Is there another way up? Maybe we should go back and ask Kim. Mr. Kim, the heirs of Ida has sealed the entry to District 4. Is there another access? Really? It appears Giggs hid a lot of secrets up there behind my back. If he asks for money, tell him to collect from me. After all, I should also be held accountable. <laughs> Here you are, finally. I'm bored of the Astrum, so here you go. I'd like you to do me a favor, Mr. Hamlin. A favor? Sure. I'm expensive, though. How much money you got? Mr. Kim said to put it on his tab. Really? That old fox is much more cheerful this time. Fine with me. Saves me the negotiation. Tell me what you want me to do. If you fall, but don't break my stuff. What? <laughs> 
Are you here yet? I'm recalling the drones. Finally lost the guards. I should take a look around. Now that you've seen what you shouldn't have, I'll have to kill you! Stole them while I start my masterpiece! I didn't prepare this for you, but since you showed up... What in the world?
Hold it, Giggs. Stop him! you today, but it won't be so easy next time. Special Agent, I hear that you have not brought my unworthy nephew back with you? He was taken by the heirs of Ida. I couldn't get my hands on him. Hmm, so he has chosen to give up on straightening things out with me, and defected to the heirs of Ida. What a pity. Mr. Kim, just asking regarding the outcome of this matter, have you kept anything from me? I beg your pardon, Special Agent? You have run here for many years. However, Giggs was able to conspire with the heirs of Ida and secretly smuggle drugs right under your nose. 
You really didn't notice anything off? The truth behind the outbreak and the miners who were used as test subjects, I don't believe you were completely oblivious to it all. Or could I say that you acquiesced in Gig's action? <laughs> Special Agent, are you suspecting that I, too, am connected with the heirs of Ida? I'm just a businessman. This mine is all I have. I want to hold on to what I have. There's nothing else I wish for in this world. Hykros, the heirs of Ida. I can't afford to offend either side, so sometimes others have to make certain choices for me and bear the consequences. Not willing to throw in your lot with either side? You're smart enough to know what I mean. There are some things I just can't say out loud. After all, I know how to manage this mess better than you. Should I tell Hykros the truth? That's up to you. But if you would consider wording your report thoughtfully, I can provide you with some clues you may be interested in as a thank you.